Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at this tattoo trying to own the libs. Does this offend you? It looks like the love child of Donald Trump and Lindsey Graham, so I'm not sure who it will bother more, Diaper Don or the guy who said, if we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we will deserve it. All I see is a guy who doesn't want to have to search for a photo when he needs to work the forearm since he has Lindsey Trump looking up at him. A Minneapolis federal judge is giving Lumpy MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell 30 days to pay $5 million to Robert Zeidman. And Lindell told reporters that he has just $10,000 to his name. So it won't be long before Mike Lindell won't even be able to dye that gray mustache. I'm going to have a laugh getting into how Robert Zeidman proved Lindell wrong, Mike Lindell's attempts to not pay out, and the hackathon cyber symposium in Sioux Falls that led to all this. I will also be mocking some of the crazy from CPAC, including a deep dive into the MAGA pinball machine and more, but first, this. Like, I just want our military to be G.I. Joe again. I think that's what most people want. That's what I want. You know you're dealing with dum-dums when they set the bar at a fictional character. Hasbro invented the term action figure because they knew boys wouldn't buy something called a doll, but at the end of the day, it's a doll. And is this what Byron wants for the army? Is Byron trying to be woke? Because G.I. Joe is as woke as it gets. In 1965, Hasbro introduced the first black G.I. Joe, the Action Soldier 7900, one of the first toys in history marketed specifically to African-American kids. In the 70s, G.I. Joe wasn't even in the army. He was on an adventure team. He was a commander. He was more Free Willy than SEAL Team 6. Free Willy, by the way, means something totally different in the UK. Hasbro distanced themselves from any geopolitical reality so much that they invented Cobra, so G.I. Joe had non-military enemies to fight. G.I. Joe was AWOL for decades. He spent more time out of the army than in it. And that's the example of a soldier Byron wants. It is pouring MAGA tears. I played in 35 countries for over two decades, but most days you'll find me here. Thanks for taking in this bald comedian's take on things. Please join the best subscribers on YouTube while I blast the latest and stupid and more. Because he's only five foot two, technically I had to put Ron DeSantis on my vice president short list. Same with Christy, because she's a gnome, and people say I'm not inclusive. This is really cool. Ah, uh, yes, the pinball machine from CPAC is like the MAGA greatest hits of stupid. I mean, for starters, this thing is on a folding table propped up by a trash can draped with Fred Trump's wardrobe to class it up. Stop the steal. Fake news. Peaceful protest. It's a setup. Babbitt murder. Have faith. Political prisoners. Light we the people. Light is not even spelled correctly. Light extra ball. Are they trying to say it's light that it has less calories? Is this the ping pong ball challenge? You mean you don't have to go to a bar in Patong for this one? Ooh, and they even got the horned rider in there. I wonder what they have to hit for it to make his mom call in and demand vegan meals for him. Earn bonuses for free speech and don't tread on me. Aim to defeat voter fraud, COVID lockdowns, and the DC gulag. I don't know what the DSLR camera is supposed to represent, like Trump's love of pool pictures of Ivanka or the modeling career Melania never had. Yeah, two black and white nudes and you pretend you're Cindy Crawford. It says Williams, but that company went under years ago, which is sort of on brand for Trump. Williams stopped making pinballs in 99, the last time MAGA showered. Y2K's coming, man. No soap. I just had to check out the website, and it looks like it was built by Mike Lindell's cyber guys. If you don't like the idea or theme of this table, please just move on. No haters, please. It's for fun and education. Enjoy. There is nothing educational about a DIY tabletop game about overthrowing an election. I'm just surprised Lauren Boebert wasn't on hand to demonstrate. Got such a supple wrist. How do you think she does it? I don't know. This is pretty close to the anniversary of your uh, of your um, uh, coming to Christ and and stopping being a was a crackhead, crackhead and, and, all and, kinds and, of and a degenerate gambler. Yeah, don't sugarcoat it too much, there, Steve. They're trying to put you out of business. That came that close. Right. They're trying to put Trump, you, and Rudy in bankruptcy. Well, you might all see the news this morning. Uh, they another uh, ruling came out of Minnesota against me, uh, five million dollars, which. Uh, well, got to go to another appeal. And a big distraction, waste more money. What was but the I five just, million for? That was for that challenge from back uh, back in the cyber symposium of 21. 
Yes, back in 2021, Mike Lindell paid Dennis Montgomery, a known con artist, a fortune for heaps of bogus data that he was told were packet captures or PCAPs. And Lindell was so confident that he had this evidence that he held a $5 million challenge to prove that the PCAPs were not from the 2020 election. After a prayer, the pledge, and the anthem, the cyber experts in attendance waited and waited for the PCAPs and were eventually given some other data, and they all knew that it was just encrypted nonsense, and they felt scammed as they were promised PCAPs, and they are experts on PCAPs, and that they were supposed to contain actual network data that would allow them to conclude fraud occurred or that it didn't. Now, I also have to note at this time, Dennis Montgomery bought a new house in Florida and no-showed at the cyber symposium claiming a medical emergency. Great story. We're going to have we're going to have connections in all 50 states. Yes, all 50 because what? Even Alaska and Hawaii was hacked in that internet. Remember, internet and um, goes across uh, satellite goes uh, across water too. I guess we shouldn't be shocked that he paid Dennis for nothing now as to pay Zeidman for proving it's nothing. Internet across the water. Robert Zeidman, who mostly goes by Bob, is a forensics expert from Nevada and a two-time Trump voter who says he's a responsible and moderate conservative and that he went because he's an expert and MAGA and he wanted to see the election fraud data for himself. He didn't actually set out to prove Mike wrong. But he quickly realized he could. He said the data was so obviously fake that it took him a few hours. When Zeidman examined Lindell's stuff, not only did it not contain any proof of foreign interference, it didn't contain any information related to the November 2020 election at all. Um, so this challenge, we believe that, Brandon, that this guy didn't even have CISSP credentials. We're Tom Selleck's slow cousin tried to wiggle out of this, even making the case that Zeidman didn't have the right to be there, even though at the launch of the event, Lindell stressed that his team would only allow vetted cyber experts that had to pass a background check. Zeidman definitely had the credentials to be there, or as Lindell often says, What are his credentials again? What are his credentials again? What was he? Well, he's a retired colonel. He was involved. This event was not open to the public. You had to apply and Lindell's team approved Zeidman. And there are plenty of top shelf cyber experts without every certification, but they can get the job done. But just because we're dealing with Tom Selleck's slow cousin here, Bob Zeidman, president and founder of Software Analysis and Forensic Engineering Corporation. Safe Corporation is the leading software company for tools used to compare and analyze software for pinpointing copyright infringement and trade secret theft. Sounds to me like Bob had all the credentials and more. That um, um, he's in the cyber room on the first day and he had to ask other cyber guys how to use Wireshark. Um, which is the, this is the common thing that cyber guys use to open up any, any files or of data in the cyber world. And, uh, so he didn't even know how to do that. And, and. All right. We just lost Mike. So we're going to get reconnected with Mike Lindell. Glad to have Mike back here on the Lindell report. Love it. You have Lindell trying to say Zeidman isn't qualified when his dumpster fire network can't do a simple broadcast. Lindell is clueless when it comes to technology. Montgomery saw this, saw he was an easy mark, and he fleeced him. Have reestablished our connection with our leader, Mike Lindell. Have reestablished our connection with our leader, Mike Lindell. Yeah, your leader who turned his millions into 10 grand. At some point, Bob Zeidman performed a transformation of the files and found that these files were just Microsoft Word documents containing streams of random numbers, IP addresses, and gibberish. Bob wrote a report about his findings and even registered a copyright online. Bob's big aha moment was that he eventually figured out to check the modification dates and found that the files that they had been given had all been modified within the last couple weeks. That means that they could not be evidence relating to the 2020 election. So he added that to his report. There was no way for this to be network data or any data related to the election. Back at his hotel, Bob called his wife and said, 
all I want to say to you is that you should start thinking about how you want to spend $5 million. He wrote an entire blog about this. Now, by comedy law, I have to share my favorite clip from the Cyber Symposium made possible by the secret camera I had Team Soros install in the rafters at the South Dakota Military Alliance venue, where Mike held it to make his non-event sound like it was something special. One thing I would like to mention uh, to anybody who is doing the audit, um, I'd like you to consider if we do have intrusion into the voting systems that are able to control <coughs> all the state's presidential elections to that kind of a control curve, why would I leave any other race on the table? Make sure you pay attention to all of them. So the question is, is so were these calculations being made in China on election night? I've been looking at the result data. I have no way to know where they were being made. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. Bob noted, for the forensic experts, it was greatly disappointing that what we were told we would see, we never actually saw. For me, it was eye-opening, but not to election fraud, but rather to the fact that Mike Lindell wanted to believe so badly that he accepted every conspiracy theory about the election that ever came up. The experts in attendance were all analyzing enormous files, even though they had been led to believe that they would not be performing analysis, but confirming an existing analysis, and that analyzing the millions of files they were given would take months. It was a scam. According to the arbitration panel, the contest did not require participants to disprove election interference. Thus, the contestants' task was to prove the data presented to them was not valid data from the November 2020 election. The panel's decision ticked through each of the data files provided to Zeidman, determining repeatedly that the data was unrelated to the 2020 election. Show me the money. Right now, we're doing a big investigation into the three arbitrators, which are hard left leaning Democrats and uh, are hard leftists. I don't even know if about as left as you can get from what I'm hearing so far. These three arbitrators that are far leftists say, oh, no, give them five million, you know, I mean, this is just unbelievable. So we're investigating them. We're investigating. You had a contest and lost. It wasn't a liberal trick. It wasn't rigged. You handed money over to a con artist who showed you a bunch of data. He labeled election hacking interference China, and you fell for it. And the Minneapolis judge held up the arbitration panel's ruling, and now dollar store Burt Reynolds has 30 days to pay up. Put your money where your mouth is. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. MTG took the Elon's dumpster fire this week to try and do some like good encouraging of the Christian ladies to cover up and it blew up in her Minecraft shaped face like a personal trainer handing her a protein shake with lid off. There you go, splat. Folks, it's pretty simple. I believe the old saying is, do as I say, not as I do. And she do whatever or whoever she wants because it is a free country, brother. And I'm just so excited because I ordered us matching pairs of Trump high tops and not the 199 versions for the peasants. Now, we are talking the limited edition gold ones with the uneven stripes, plastic stars from Michaels, and double BPA soles. As soon as the overseas sweatshop makes these Trump toilet matching bad boys and delivers them to my off-the-grid, off-the-radar, top-secret, gated, but still on Uber Eats and Amazon Bunker, we are going to have the date night to end all day nights. I'm going to go all out to celebrate our matching sneakers with some grilled Trump steaks over lump charcoal, okay? Because you're not taking away my high heat searing abilities. What's that? Trump steaks were discontinued. Now, 2007? Okay, well, I will just serve us some fancy cocktails. I have a shaker that Charlie Kirk gave me, and I'll get some Trump vodka, and we'll do some MAGA martinis and Georgia Gremlin peach bellinis to own the libs. What's that? discontinued in 2011 okay well whatever we don't need meat and booze because we will have the most gorgeous shoes in the world any day now was that july that like six months away 
Okay, it just takes time to make a quality product, so they'll be even more special. So when they do show up, we need to show extra special care when it comes to these Marjorie. Like, come to think of it, I'm not even sure if I want you in the same room as my Never Surrender High Tops, let alone witnessing a five foot one shoving her meat stew soles into a top shelf product. If you put her ginger root toes in a police lineup, people would just think like someone put a bunch of nacho cheese bugles on top of some half eaten gas station Slim Jims. A deep state buddy of mine sent me a picture of a Secret Service dude that got into it with like Joe Biden's German Shepherd, and what Commander did to him got nothing on what the god she's always talking to did to the two hammered spam cans she tries to pass off his feet because what is the rule mtg the socks stay on the socks stay on too bad you will feel pretty stupid with in the next few months when trump returns as the 47th president mega tears you're supposed to be a comedian mega tears Biden is down almost double digits in every national poll and double digits in every swing state. He has the lowest approval rating of any president in modern history. Democrats have held the black vote at 90% for 50 years, and every poll has him in the low 80s. If the election was held today, Trump would win in a landslide. There's no desperation on this side. Biden can't walk or talk anymore. Harris is even less popular than Biden. See, if he's not removed by the 25th Amendment, he'll lose by a wide margin in November. Time is up. MAGA tears. This is just like MAGA put the greatest hits of stupid. I mean, for starters, the thing is, it's on a folding table propped up by a trash can with tread... <laughs> Trump's wardrobe. All I see is a guy who doesn't want to have to search for a photo when he's needing to work the farm. And it blew up in her Minecraft shaped face like a personal trainer handing her a protein shake with the lid off. <laughs> I'll be mocking some of the crazy from Supac. Supac. If you put her toes in a police lineup, people would think that someone put nacho cheese bugles on top of some half-eaten gas. I'm just surprised Lauren Boebert wasn't on hand to demonstrate. Got such a supple wrist. How do you think she does it? I don't. I believe the old saying is do as I say, not as I do, and she do whoever she wants, brother. The panel's to say... I can't. I've got the sillies, man. I'm not even sure if I want you in the same room as my never surrender high tops, let alone witnessing a five foot one blonde meat swamp shoving her stew meat soles into a top shelf product. <laughs> well, they even got the horned rider on there. I wonder what the players have to hit to make his mom call in and demand vegan meals for him. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please stick around and check out another one of my videos. Say hello in the comments. Find my stand up on Spotify, stream by millions, and add me on Facebook and Instagram. It all helps. Be cool, be kind, take care.